I'm Yadvinder Mali and I am a, a professor of ecosystem science at the University of Oxford in the UK and I'm also president-elect of the ATPC. The ATBC is the main worldwide organization that brings together tropical ecologists and scientists and conservation scientists uh, to, to discuss the issues around the, both the functioning and ecology and the conservation of tropical ecosystems. And uh, it does this mainly through its annual meeting, which is, can be in many places ac across the world, where there's a, a chance for the community to, to get together, but also for different generations, a new generation of scientists to, to meet some of the more senior scientists and interact. Uh, but it also does much more than the annual meeting. Uh, it has a, a progr big program around mentoring where senior scientists can help new students and early career scientists to to, uh, to get advice on their careers and how to make contacts and, and networks. Uh, it also has a focus on building capacity in areas such as uh, Africa uh, or, or, or South America and are trying to cre create networks for in strengthening the capacity of those areas to do science, to have access to funding and opportunities. And also intellectually, it just connects people it takes, it takes them away from their particular country and their particular focus to get a more global vision of how tropical ecosystems function as a whole and how similar or different the issues are in different parts of the world. I think it's very important if we're trying to understand the, system, the tropics as a whole, uh, we can often form our image. Uh, local work is always very important, uh, that's where the action occurs, but we can of often form bias our opinions just from what we see at our particular site. So if we step out of our site and see it from another perspective, often we can learn more even about the place where, where we spend our time working at uh, the local site as well as getting uh, this larger picture. And one thing I think also uh, I particularly enjoy about ATBC is that it covers so many disciplines. And I work in a tropical forest, but I, I go with a particular focus. I'm looking at the ecosystem ecology or the carbon dynamics. But I love at ATBC going and learning about lizards or, or, uh, or amphibians or, or fungi and things. And so knowing, having a more complete picture of the science of the forest that I work in and, and know. And, and so I think it's this range of disciplines that I hear is also one of the most appealing things for scientists, even the most experienced scientists who work in the tropics. I think uh, one of the biggest challenges and opportunities for ATBC is how we can be more than the annual meeting. How can we build a body of uh, the community of tropical ecologist scientists uh, and that could be through having a more regional focus, uh, so have, having an Africa network and a Southeast Asia network and a, and a Latin America network that can be more intimately involved on a more regular scale. Uh, and how do we give people who become members more than the annual meeting? Can we provide information like opportunities of finding out about jobs or mentoring on, on skills on, on how, to, uh, how to become better and more effective uh, scientists? Uh, and so I think our biggest challenge is to, uh, is to create more. In an, in an age where uh, people don't join society so much, how can ATBC be of more value to, uh, to the worldwide student community and researcher community? I think the other thing is can we make ATBC into some sort of voice for all of those who care about tropical forests? Can we become a body so that we, that we venture into making statements on particular urgent issues around the tropics and that voice is listened to and respected as the voice of the, the, the scientific community and that's something that I'd really hope that we can do more and more of in coming years. Yes, uh, well there are many ways of doing that. I think part of that is, is the regular communication uh, uh, through website or through, through short uh, preces and summaries of key points that we're making but also I think maybe we should, be, we should do things like have big reports that come out every, yeah, every year or two on key issues and that'd be, but if it has the collection of ideas from the richness of people who are within ATBC it could be quite an important and authoritative voices on, on, on things. It's a very nice community of people and it's nice to connect 
and it's diverse. We have people from all continents uh, coming together, a, and I find that just that just the sheer sociality of getting together and talking and sharing ideas just just really fun. Well, I think part of that uh, family comes, as I said, from from these experiences that we all, wherever we come from, whatever our background, we all, most of us. Well, we care deeply about tropical ecosystems, but we also often have spent time working in them and sometimes in quite difficult conditions. And we have stories to tell from our experiences, whether it's about snakes or insects or other things like that. Uh, and I think that just adds a natural camaraderie, a common experience of life uh, that, that, that can bring people together. And very quickly, you can click with people even if you've never met them before.